Hello guys, today we're going to be doing a full video of how to install Aptoid TV. Now, first thing I'm going to just show you what you've got to do on your TV. And, um, so, first thing is, download ES File Explorer. So you need to download that. So do this first, because if it takes a bit, um, if you've got slow internet, um, do this one first. So go to Cloud. Then it's going to give, take, give you a sign in, it'll give you Dropbox, um, G Drive, so I would recommend G Drive. Okay, and then when you click on that, when you transfer the file, as you see it's there. So now I'm going to show you how to actually put it into G Drive right now. Alright, we'll head on over to the computer and I'll show you just what you've got to do. Hello guys, so first of all you're going to want to click on the um, website. So, this is the website right here, so what you're going to want to do is install it. So then it will download down there, it takes about 2-3 to three minutes, depending on your internet speed, and then you're going to want to open this tab over here, uh, that one, this one, so this is inside G Drive, so when we get the file, which we've got, we will open up the Explorer, and here the file is. So then what you want to do, minimize that over to there, so this is the file, so then you're going to just want to pop that in there, and as you'll see, you'll see like this circle, little thing, looks like when you download an app on Apple, um, and it takes a little while, so basically it's going to take about two minutes, so you saw what I did, so basically go on the website, download it, then get the file up on your computer, and then transfer it over by dragging and dropping, and then it'll download, and then when that's done, um, I'll show you the next step, so... I've already got it installed, so we'll head on over to the computer, the TV now, and I'll show you the next step. So, um, we're now we're back to the TV, and now what you're wanting to do is, sometimes if the file doesn't show up, what you're going to want to do is go down to refresh. So when you hit that, it'll refresh the whole page, and your file should definitely turn up. If it is not turning up still, it means it has not officially downloaded completely on G Drive. So you can always check that. Um, on your computer. So it has completely downloaded so now what we're going to do is hit on this and then it'll do this little processing thing. Shouldn't take too long. Now this works on every Android TV. I even believe it works on Fire TV. Now this isn't a launch thing, it's just a, a different app store. So that's all it is. It's a different app store that you can access third party content. So if you're your um, Android TV doesn't have Netflix or something like that, you can easily access it on this. So then you're going to want to hit install. Sorry if the screen's a bit crooked, and then install again. And as you see, it's installing. Now I may get an error because I already have this pre installed. I probably should have uninstalled it first. So it, this can take up to two to five minutes. So it can take a little while, um, hopefully it doesn't take too long for the video. And basically you can download even, um, you can download um, apps on your phone, but some apps do say you need a mouse, required mouse, um, that's not always the case. You don't always need, so as you see it's downloaded. So now what you're going to want to do is hit open, and you'll be on to this page. So basically, this is the App Store. Now, everything downloads third partly, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So you must have unknown sources turned on. If you don't, nothing will install. Now, I recommend, see over here where the tick is, make sure it does not say unknown. If it says unknown, do not download it, because that means it could be a virus. So do not download it if it says unknown. It has to say um, trusted. I'll show you a couple of apps that are unknown. We'll just try, um, see if we can find one. We'll try this one. So when you're installing an app, it will all, you'll, you'll always get this prompt. If you cancel, you'll have to reinstall the whole thing. So you do have to, it'll give you this prompt all the time. Um, so you just got to install. That's why you got to have unknown sources on all the time. And we'll show you this app works um, in just a minute. 
I'll just see if I can find you an unknown app, just so you know what to not download. Um, because what happens if you download it when it has unknown? It could be alright, it might be a good developer, but it could be a virus. Now, if you get a virus on your Android TV, I do not think Android, well, Google will give you a, they will not repair it for you. So we'll just write Netflix. There you go, unknown. So if you install this and just say, and another giveaway is don't download something that has no pictures because obviously it has to be sus if it has no pictures. So when it's is unknown, don't download it. You could, but it could have a virus. We don't know. So I just wanted to tell you that. And now we'll show you that app we just downloaded to show you it actually does work. Now, as you see, it's not popping up here. Sometimes they don't. Some third-party apps do, like these are third-party apps, this one here, um, and some don't. So sometimes you have to install Side Launcher. You don't have to, or you can just click on the um, app here, and then hit back, back again. Okay, then you're back to the home page. Um, and then you can just, I'll just exit it out accidentally. Then you just go to uh, My Apps, and then you just hit, hit this. And this is all the apps I've got. And they're, they're the speed testers. So we're just going to see if the, some apps run upside down. Um, so keep in mind about that. So if you're wanting to download a phone app, make sure it's supported on tablet. Um, if it's not, you're going to get an upside down app. Um, so I'll show you what I mean by that. Just wait for that to load. So I'll reopen that app. For an example, this Netflix app, this is for tablet. And so we'll just wait for that to open. You can tell it's the tablet because it looks like the tablet edition. Um, so yeah, they do work. The Netflixes do work. Um, not Netflix, but apps on tablet do work. So hopefully this um, video helped you guys out. If you uh, need any questions about this video and much more, send us down on uh, down below or you can message us at Twitter. Um, and subscribe if you really like this video and give us a thumbs up because if you um, if you really like this video, thumbs it up and then we can make more videos like this one. So hopefully we catch you in the next video.